So how do we connect with Mary? In my experience, Mary is available if only we ask. We have to ask and orient ourselves to receive her presence. I'll be talking a little bit more over time about the various ways that I connect with Mary, tune into Mary, listen to Mary. But today I just want to give you a brief little glimpse into my art practice with Mary and my embodied prayer practice. So this behind me is the painting that I am working on this year, this season and the weeks leading up to the day that my people call Christmas. <laughs> and um, I will be on the merry way beyond Christmas, but these are the weeks when I'm working on this painting and um, I'm struggling with it a little bit, but also really enjoying even the struggle. And I can tell you more over time about what that's like. This behind me here is the Mary that I painted last year in December. And it's interesting to me how different her presence is and, um, and was at these two different times. I paint Mary and have painted Mary again and again and again. And I think painting her is one of the ways that I have found to connect with her. I often, while I'm painting, I scribble in a lot of my questions, my concerns, the things I'm struggling with, and I use it as a way to, I use my painting time as a way to move out of my normal mode of thinking, <laughs> trying to figure things out, and into a space of noticing my need, my concern, my burden, but then also moving toward what I crave to see, what I need to see. And it's in that holding the burden and moving toward what I crave to see and feel, there's somewhere in there that I feel Mary enter the space, especially when I've invited her to. She really meets me in the struggle, the many struggles that I face in life, and I experience her as just changing the atmosphere of the room, changing the atmosphere of the space that I'm in, and changing the atmosphere inside me. So as I paint, I'm noticing both my challenge, my burden, my struggle, and I'm noticing more and more the comfort, the nurture, the sense of vitality, the power that I'm craving to see and that then I feel is given to me on the canvas. And then I receive it as I gaze at the emerging painting. I live with my paintings for as long as they are medicinal to me and I give them away uh, when they're no longer medicinal to me. So Mary meets me in the creative process in that way. She also meets me in a very embodied way. By that, I mean it's very easy for us as Westerners to 
get up in our heads and just think that thinking harder in this kind of neck up way can solve all the problems. Mary was a woman of a different era, much more connected to embodied life, and she was very tuned in to the life of God as a Jewish woman in ancient Middle Eastern area. She was steeped in the Jewish community and the Jewish, com the Jewish rituals and the, the, and the Hebrew language and all of her Jewishness taught her how to be a body and be part of God. This separation of body, mind, and spirit is really more something that came in with the Greeks and the Romans and later in the Western world that was built off of Greek and Roman culture. It's a colonizing culture, it's a fragmenting culture. But Mary came out of a Jewish culture which holds people and families and communities whole. And it was out of that sense of embodiment and wholeness, a prayer life that was very much from the flesh, that Mary was able to perceive and meet the holy operating in her body and being. I think one of the reasons why I was able to perceive Mary and receive Mary when I did in 2016 is because I was so sick physically. I was very much in my body and taken out of the realm of all my thinking and figuring out. And it was being dropped down into the visceral sensations of my body and learning how to pray from there that I learned to be available in a whole body way to the spirit, including the spirit of Mary. I call it body prayer or body listening, and it's both. And it starts with breathing and arriving in the space of my physical self. So I invite you right now to just do that with me. You can put a hand on your heart and a hand on your belly. And just notice your breathing. Notice the movement of your body as you breathe. This body is a sacred place. This body is a sacred being, which is you. And so much more than the you, you typically think of yourself as.
consider for a moment as you breathe with your hands on your body, what if this body being presence right here, what if this is holy? What if this is a vessel, a holy site where the spirit, the great spirit, the creator, the God, the great mystery wants to meet you and wants to come more fully into your life. Just consider that your body is a sacred vessel. Worth arriving in. As you arrive in your body, also consider just asking if Mother Mary, or you could call her Miriam, or Maria, different cultures call on her with different names. You can say, Mary, will you be with me? Mary, will you help me feel your presence in the space where I am right now? in my body, in my body being, and in this room where I am right now. Imagine that you are listening, sensing with every cell of your body. And see if you can feel a shift in the atmosphere around you. I feel Mary in this moment as support up my back, kind of warmth and a holding. A softening and a slowing a very different, deeper sense of power.
If you don't feel her right away, don't worry. Just continue to feel your body, your body temple. Moved by your breath. Feel the points of contact where your hands meet your body. Feel the support of the floor or the chair. And imagine, if you will, that a mother, not our limited human mothers, but a mother whose love is more full and whole than any human living mothers could be. Imagine if this mother were with you right now. How would her gaze feel when she looks at you? How would her presence feel? Would she offer her body for you to rest against? Would she wrap you in a cloak? Imagine receiving that quality of nurture and connection that you most crave. And as you imagine that, see if your imagination begins to take on a life of its own. If you ask Mary to arrive, drop down into your body and listen. And imagine the most full motherly love you could ever want. Mary will enter that space of longing and help us receive the nurture we need. This evening, from 6 to 6.30 p.m., if you are registered for the Mary Way virtual retreat, you will have body prayer time available to you over Zoom. If you are watching this video and you have not yet registered for the retreat, you can go to the link below this video and register there. Body prayer is something I'm going to lead with my friend, colleague, and teacher, Jenny Swayzicki, who teaches an ancient esoteric healing art that came out of Japan. And it's really about gently supporting our bodies with our hands 
and opening our bodies to be able to receive the movement of the presence that I call the Holy Spirit. Jenny is a gifted teacher and guides people through this self-help process in a way that is truly transformational. So today, as you begin connecting in with Mary and asking for her to arrive and be with you, as you begin to imagine what you would crave to receive from a Holy Mother, and as you perhaps begin to get little tastes of her presence, Come to body prayer time this evening with Jenny and me and experience even a wider range of ways that your body can experience the movement of spirit, of breath, so that your body can be more and more a divine sacred place, which it already is, but that you, as you honor it, can inhabit that more fully. And from there, receive the nurture, receive the connection that is available to you today. From Mother Mary and the great love to which she always points, to which she always opens the way. I hope to see you later. Take care.